Uh, hi, this is Joe again with another uh, movie review. But this time it's still, I know I'm promising my King Kong review. That this might be my last review of doing scary movies for ha Halloween. But, and I didn't realize that I didn't, wasn't completed with my movie horror uh, movie cycle. And so I'm going to do another one. Maybe one other one. But, this one is going to take one of the goofy ones. And it has more humor in it than horror. And it's the Little Shop of Horrors. And I know there are, there are two versions of the of Little Shop of Horrors. The original one was 1960. That was written and directed by Roger Corman. And it starred uh, Jonathan Hayes, uh, Jackie Joseph, and the very first movie role of some lousy actor by the name of Jack Nicholson. And I saw Cat for that for the last actor. And of course and, and then twenty six years later, in nineteen eighty six there was a musical the, the musical version. It was based on the off Broadway uh, musical of Little Shop of Horrors. So I'm gonna get to the musical one in a uh, minute. Uh, the original film came out in nineteen sixty, like I said it was written and, and directed by Roger Corman, who was the king of the beat horror films. And it's basically the story of those who never seen either version. It's basically the story of this store clerk, or the flower store clerk by the name of Seymour, who crossed two plants, like a Venus fly trap and another plant. And all of a sudden, instead of wanting flies, this particular plant wants human blood. And of course, that's when we find out what's blood. Is it blood? You don't want blood? And because he cut his finger, and the plant goes nuts, and so he gives him some blood, and with more blood and more blood and more blood, and every time when Seymour gives him blood, it starts growing bigger and bigger and bigger, and then he realizes, oh, how how can I get more blood for almost that I ran out of fingers, and I had my fingers here before he gave him more blood, the plant didn't care, and then he starts talking, he says feet, he says. Beat me. You know, you know, like, like that. Beat me. And so says, what, what am I going to do with this with this plant? So he accidentally kills a, uh, this is where a lot of the humor comes in. Kills a uh, railroad detective and feeds the detective to this plant. And of course then goes to dance. And that's of course that dance is a, a wacky dance. Not as so extreme as in the musical, but wacky enough. Accidentally kills the dentist. Feeds the dentist to the plant. And one by one, he starts feeding people to this, to this plant. And of course, it gets you know, so big, it almost fills up the whole flower shop. And of course, you know, the owner of the shop, uh, Mushner, Mr. Mushner, sees him feeding the plants. They're all going to save this plant. And, and then he hears the um, plant speak and he says who, who would you like tonight who would you like to eat tonight and the plant says you look fat enough and, and that, that was like the big you know, joke line in the film and of course actually of course at the end towards the end the cops find out what's going on and chase Simo all over this garbage dump and of course Seymour comes back to the to the um, to the plant store and goes in and wants to kill the plant and actually kills the plant. Meanwhile, he ends up getting killed himself. I mean, he the plant eats him eats him too, and, and that's how pretty much the movie ended. And of course, this movie was so goofy. And of course, Jack Nicholson, like I said, was in the original film, and he plays the character that Bill Murray plays in the musical version. I mean, that's the part that Jack Nicholson plays. And that was the very first scene you ever saw Jack Nicholson in. And he had like a real goofy laugh and he doesn't mind getting you know the drill. He doesn't mind if he pulls, pulls his teeth out. But it was actually Seymour playing the dentist because his dentist was already dead at that point where he was in the, when Jack Nicholson's character comes into the office. And so he had 
that that whole sequence was also pretty funny. He was having a goes, you're not gonna pull any of my teeth out? He says, No, it's not necessary. He says, I want you I want you to pull it out. And actually of course it comes out without his teeth back and then everything else which is pretty pretty funny. And but other than Jack Nicholson's first rumor it's pretty it's a pretty tame uh comedy slash horror film. So it was to me it wasn't really all that scary. It was just kinda of funny to see a man eating plant. But it wasn't all that, you know, scary or terrifying. And it was has a goofy story that it was made into an off-Broadway musical back in the 80s. And the people who wrote the, or the two guys who wrote the uh, story, or the music, actually, music for, for a little shop of horrors, are the same two guys who made the music for uh, the two Disney classic animated movies, The Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast, the same two guys. And the reason why they're not working anymore, not any more other Broadway musicals or the Disney uh, films, because I think Howard Ashman uh, was one of the two guys dying of AIDS because he was a gay. Or the other guy, I forgot the other guy's name, uh, wasn't gay, but Howard Ashman was, and he had AIDS, and he died of AIDS just after completing uh, or doing uh, Beauty and the Beast. But the two guys, one of the first ones they did was doing the music for um, Little Shop of Horrors. And the music is terrific, and you should know, because these two guys, and they had a lot of songs in the very, 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 very funny in the musical version. But the musical version with the original one, it's not, there weren't all that many uh, changes. I mean, the only ch real change that was was in the original version, except for Seymour was the only of the main characters that actually died, or actually got eaten by the plant. In the uh, musical version, Mushnik, Mr. Mushnik, was played by Richard Gordania in the movie version, or, or, the, or the musical version, uh, he, he was eaten by the plant. And in the musical version, you have Rick Moranis playing Seymour, and Alan Green playing Audrey, you had uh, Steve Moran playing the dance, and he steals this movie. He was so good in this movie, and the funny thing is, my that my sister had actually had a dentist appointment that week, or the week after we saw the No you know, Shop of Horrors. She had a dentist appointment, so she had all these nightmares that she was going to get stuck with a crazy dent, crazy dentist like Steve Moran. Because it wasn't the case, but but she had nightmares just the same. It was just so over the top that then uh, Seymour's performance was in that movie, and he was addicted to nitrous oxide throughout that movie. So he always had like a little tank of nitrous oxide with him, or a little inhaler. And he goes, he sniffs it, and goes, <laughs> he goes, he giggles through the whole through the whole thing, and then of course he ends up getting dying because he gets he got suffocated from. The laughing gas. We have this big tank on his back, and this contraption, and this mask on his face, and and he just suffocates because he the, the valve got stuck. The valves got stuck, and he suffocated. But that's how he dies in the movie. And it got really ridiculous. Uh, I think it was better. The musical version was better than the original 1960 version. I think it was funnier. I mean, both versions are campy, but we're gonna have a song that's gonna carry the film. And of course, Levi Stubbs, who recently died, was in, I think it was in the Four Tops, providing the voice of Audrey 2. And there's, there's one other difference in the, in the two films. In the original uh, 1960 version, it was called Audrey Jr. And then the musical version was called Audrey 2. So there was a, another change. And it was, and it was, you know, I thought with those two changes, it was, it was almost pretty much the same movie. Pretty much. Except for, one other fact is too, is that the, the plan on, on the flower store, the Mershik store, doesn't explode at the end of the movie. I said, the only difference is that the plant dies, and, and the plant does die in both versions. But Seymour dies in the end, and the original version, and not the musical version. 
but as I understand it, uh, the visual off board reproduction, uh, everybody dies at the end of the original board game version. When they made the movie, they didn't want everybody to die at the end, so they ch made that change. And Seymour does live at the end of the film, and marries uh, the, Audrey, the Audrey at the end of the second of the original ending of the musical version. So that's what you know. That's the another change change they made. But I found that the, the musical version was good, and also you had a lot of great cameos. Like you had see, like I said, see Mom play the dance. You had uh, cameos by John Candy. You had James Belushi. You had uh, forgot forgot who else was was in it as well. Uh, also, also had cameos. And also, of course, the three singers in the beginning of singing the title song. Plus the other songs were up and it was like it was kinda of like a rip off of the Supremes, but they were also very, very good. And I think one of the three appeared on the UPN comedy Everybody Hates Chris played the mother in that. So she was one of the three singers in the musical movie musical version of Little Shuffle Forest. So check both of them out. Um, that's my review of Little Shovel Forest. What, what practically the least scary of the horror films. It's like more well, a, a campy film than a, a horror film. Well, both of them really, but 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 it was really, you know, it would be entertaining for a while. I think the original ver the original version is about maybe an hour fifteen minutes, pretty short, pretty short film. And the musical version I think is maybe an hour thirty five or an hour forty minutes tops. So both versions are kinda of short but but entertaining just the same. So enjoy my video. Please like the video. Uh, comment on it and subscribe to my page and thank you for watching.